<laughs> I'm uh, well, I'm I'm here at Agent Court Mall. Uh, pretty much, <laughs> this is where I sort of started collecting toys. Honestly, uh, there's a Walmart here, which when I was growing up was a Woolco. Now that doesn't mean anything to uh, some of my U.S. viewers, but. For Canadian viewers, I think a lot of people are going to remember what Woolco was back in the 80s. It was Walmart, pretty much. <laughs> it was the biggest department store around in, in, in uh, Ontario, and a great place to go shopping for toys. They used to have this great aisle of Master Universe toys. And I heard a rumor, uh, a, a hot lead actually, from one of my viewers, uh, Kid Chuckle. He said that he spotted some Kenner Ghostbusters here. I am hoping beyond hope that he was right. And he also said there should be some Eternia Minis here, which I can take a look at. So I'm really hoping to get really lucky today. Guys, wish me luck. This is... <laughs> this might be the day. This might be the day. Whew! This is <laughs> pretty historic for me. This is the Walmart, which originally was a Wilco. And pretty much where I spent my entire youth trying to collect Masters of the Universe. So it's really crazy being back here after all these years. You have no idea how nostalgic this is for me. I haven't been back here in years. They so yeah, finally installed the uh, grocery section here. And that's kind of different from when I used to come here. I have a pretty decent toy section here. It looks pretty big. I'm definitely going to do some hunting in this area. I can tell that uh, <laughs> Walmart is in the middle of refreshing because I'm in the uh, what I would have to say is the doll aisle and you can see nice displays like you see the Disney princesses up here but then you look up and you see <laughs> Transformers and there's definitely no Transformers in here I passed the Transformer aisle quite a bit a while ago and Marvel's in this section too yeah so they're definitely refreshing <laughs> moving all their displays over a little bit at a time yeah that can't be easy that thing must weigh a bit of yeah you're going to hurt yourself if you <laughs> try to move that, so... Yeah, fun stuff. This is actually a really, really big toy section. This toy section is ridiculously huge. In terms of, like, the, the Walmarts that I've been to, this is literally, like, four, four to five, actually, more like six aisles of toys. It's good to see. It's good to see that there's a lot more toys in this section. Crazy. Happy to see that. See if they have what Kid Chuckle said they had. So I'm just wandering around, taking a look. <laughs> oh man, after so long, after so long of looking for these things, I finally find them. This is crazy. Check it out. There's Peter Vankman. Oh. Egon Spengler. Wow. Winston Zedmore. And as we've already seen right at the top, there is Race Dance. Crazy. Just crazy. So glad to finally, finally have these guys in my collection. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Kid Chuckle. For giving me this tip, that was, that paid off, I gotta tell you. <laughs> it's important for us, you know, as collectors to really support each other, you know? Like, we gotta keep those scalpers away. Unfortunately, I think that's it for the pegs. Now, here's a funny thing. Um, Kid Chuckle told me that if I couldn't find them here, there'd be a way, if uh, what Kid Chuckle told me was true, he found a few more and put them away just in case I didn't catch those on the pegs. <laughs> so this is something I mentioned the other day. <laughs> there are a lot of good friends who do stuff like this for each other. Uh, and you know what? I do have to thank Kid Chuckle for doing this. But it's only fair that we put these back in the pegs for other people to have a chance to get at them. You really should look around in case you are looking for something because under the clearance aisles, 
you might find pretty cool items like this Chitari here. That's neat. Of course the Pixar ones, which we already saw, which are on sale for $7 here. But what would really get you and surprise you is that toys start ending up in places you wouldn't expect. Check this out. <laughs> Here's Megatron, and I know he's not on sale yet. <laughs> he's just hanging out here. And if we look further, look, here's another <laughs> Beast Morphers. Just hanging out. Yep. Kids pick these things up, beg their parents, and their parents, of course, are like, no, it's not your birthday, it's not time, you don't have good enough grades, <laughs> whatever. And, yeah, basically, <laughs> They come back into the final aisle just before they leave. And it's like, nope, put it down, put it down, put it down. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Oh, look at this. This is a brand new, brand new Imperial Stormtrooper on Hoth. This literally just got released. So you know that some kid just put, picked this up and said, you know what, I want this, I want this. And he, the parents made him put it down right before they left. Crazy. I gotta tell you everybody, if you are looking for these things, look everywhere, because something like this, which is not supposed to be here, and like I said, there's like wave three or something like that, yeah, it's right here, and it wasn't where it was supposed to be in the Star Wars section. Crazy. So I got mine, and we're gonna put these back, because they, other people need a chance to pick these up, so. Always great to see these things back on pegs. This is really what it's about, guys. Give other people a chance to get these. So I'm gonna take these to the front. Yeah, what a successful tip. Thanks again, Kid Chuckle. Amazing, just amazing. Whew. As I was leaving, there it is. It's running minis. I'm gonna take a little bit of time and uh, dig through these to see if there's any uh, H's, but I'm not that hopeful. <laughs> but good to see it here because the Motu section is pretty empty. At least I haven't seen it in this area here. So, yep. On well, continues, everybody. Wow, that was incredible. After all these years having come back here to Agent Court and coming to Agent Court Mall at the Walmart, which used to be a Wilco, where I pretty much, I'm almost 100% certain that that's actually where I picked up the original versions of these characters when I was a kid. It's so gratifying to finally have hunted down all these things, and kind of poetic, that they all came back to Agent Court Mall, where basically my entire toy collecting journey began. So this is amazing, this is great. Thanks, Kid Chuckle, for giving me this tip. It really paid off. Finally, I have the complete first wave of the real Ghostbusters vintage Kenner action figures. Can't wait to reunite these guys with uh, the Green Ghost and Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Guys, uh, I'm going to visit a few more places, but this, this is the score of the day, everybody. <laughs> now, I, I'm looking at these, and they look like brand new packaging, so... I'm wondering if that means that they're going to start hitting more stores again. This could be the reissues that they've had. Uh, apparently they had some packaging problems in the, in the past. So I would encourage everybody to keep, the, keep their eyes out. And everybody help your, your, uh, your fellow co actors. Kid Chuckle really uh, came through for me. He told me where this was. And you know what? That's huge. We all have to help each other. Don't let Scott or Sam get these. He doesn't deserve them. He's just going to put them on the secondary market pump up the prices and make collectors like you and me really pay way too much money for this stuff. So definitely do what's right. Talk to other collectors. Let them know where this stuff is. Guys, this is so great. All right. On to the next one. The hunt continues. Teal and Beastman are still out there. In the area, I have to go check out Toys R Us. I'm not looking for anything particular, but I, I have to. How can you not get excited when looking at that? Come on, seriously. That's just crazy. See what I mean? It's just wall to wall to wall to wall and more walls of toys. You've got to love it. Wars out and 
nothing's really changed too much here. Pretty much everything I've seen. Oh, okay. But there is the Empire Strikes Back. Luke and Luke Skywalker and Yoda for the Jedi training. Huh. Looks like a nice pack, actually. Oh, hello, what's this? Check this out. As I said, look everywhere. Underneath the sail, <laughs> look who it is. It's one of the Mandalorian heavy infantry troopers. Crazy. Let's see if there's anything else back here. No, nope. looks like more of the same. Uh, I was hoping to find Mando or maybe Boba Fett. But they are so popular. Getting your hands on one of those in the wild is its like hitting the lottery. Uh, yeah, lots of Lukes. A few Yodas. And some Hans. Pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Clone Commander Wolf. K Tuso. There's Luke with Skywalker Stormtrooper. Yep. Standard stuff, but still pretty cool. Halloween's coming. Looks like they got the masks out. Very cool. And more lightsabers, of course, just in time for Halloween. But it says here that all Star Wars role figure and role play are 20% off. Not bad. Not bad. And of course, you know, I can't resist the helmets, so... <laughs> this Boba Fett prototype armor is pretty interesting, but from what I understand, all they did was take the mold that they had for Boba Fett's original helmet and made it white. So instead of it being nice and brand new, if you look closely, there's actually damage on the helmet itself when you get it out of the packaging. That's kind of disappointing. That is a lazy use of, uh, of a mold, I think. Couldn't have just smoothed it out or something? Crazy. Oh, check it out. Here's the Hyper Real Luke. I've been looking at these Hyper Reels, and they do look awesome. Luke himself here looks pretty wild. It does, yeah, it does capture the likeness of Mark Hamill for sure. I can definitely see it. Yeah, they're a hundred bucks each. So, like I said, I was talking about the other, the Darth Vader the other day. I do like the way they look. They do look awesome. For a hundred bucks each, hmm, I do have to think about it. Anyway, let's move on. Here's the ranger section. And they got the new, this, this Toys R Us got the new uh, ranger da um, green, da green ranger dagger, which is cool. <sighs> this red ranger helmet keeps calling me. I've got to pull myself away before I literally buy this thing. <laughs> Here's the transformer section. Bunch of things which we need to look for. Always looking out for those seekers. Should be a two pack apparently. Yep, here's the siege. Starscream again. Hmm. I don't see the other seekers though. Man. Looks like if you snooze, you lose. But I was able to get by the Mega Constructs here and take a look at what I saw. Yeah, it's Rotan. So he's here and available. There are about, oh, actually there are a ton of sets. <laughs> At least four. Um, yeah, if not more, there are a bunch of them. So yeah, I'm gonna see how much this costs and uh, yeah, find out if I'm taking it home today. <laughs> uh, crazy. Not, uh, not seeing any, 
any actual uh, figures though. It's too bad. Oh well, we'll have a look. A buddy of mine just called um, Kid Chuckle and he was telling me that they actually might have a secret two-pack here and I was looking around everywhere to f at the Transformers out and I couldn't find anything. Then as I'm heading towards the checkout aisle, they have them here and luckily they have one per customer so that's crazy. And look right below it, Scorponok. Oh man, this is crazy. So if anybody's actually looking for the secret two-pack, let me see if I can get a, a shot of it. Yeah, if anybody's looking for the secret two-pack, which is Skywarp and Thundercrack, you have to ask at the front because they're not gonna they're not gonna give them uh, and put them out on the floor. I guess there have been too many scalpers. Like I said, way too many scalpers. So now they're literally limiting it one per customer, and that's all you can get. Awesome move by the true staff here. I really have to thank them. That way Scalper Sam doesn't get his hands on these, at least <laughs> not as fast as he can anyway. I'm gonna ask how much these are, and I'm also gonna ask about this Scorponok. Oh my God, look at this thing. Can't even get him in the shot. Look at that. He's beautiful. I'm gonna ask how much he is and see how much this Roton is. But yeah, good to see these things in the store and good to see that the true staff here is limiting it so the scalpers can't get to it. Awesome move. Okay, so there's a, a pro tip. They have them actually in the front. They don't want to um, give out they only, they're only giving out one per customer, which is great because that means the scalpers won't be able to get to them. They are $79.99 here in Canada and man, that's a bit high for me today. I might have to save up a little bit, but the fact that they're actually only releasing them one per customer, that's huge. That means the scalper Sam will not be able to get them as quickly. Unfortunately, he probably come back every single day. You can probably pick them all up. They also had a Scorponok there. <laughs> I asked how much that was and oh my god, $250. That's that's way too much money for me. Guys, thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave me a like. It really does help me out. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Geek Proud. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to support the channel, please see the link in the description below. I've got more videos on the way, and we'll see you at the next one. Geek Proud.